So I posted a lot of Pixelmon Skyblock videos, each with their own unique theme. And I decided to combine them all for you guys into their own Skyblock movie. It's been over a year since I posted some of these videos, so there's a chance you don't remember them or haven't seen them at all. And if that's the case, sit back and relax, and grab some snacks and a drink, and get ready for the Pixelmon Skyblock movie. Today we're doing Pixelmon Skyblock, and each surrounding island is filled with lucky blocks and an evil boss trainer. We need to make it to each island, open all of the lucky blocks, and defeat every boss to win. Can we take down Giovanni and his Mega Mewtwo? All right, and here we are, guys, on the Skyblock. What's going on? We got the Move Learner right here, but more importantly, we got a chest. We got a Lava Bucket, Water Bucket, and some Master Balls. Hey, and there we go. We got the cobblestone generator, boys. This is actually the first cobblestone generator I've ever built, so I'm really proud. All right, but we got 22 cobblestone now. I think that's enough. And this is the first island we need to go to, so let's just start bridging over. And remember, guys, we need to take on a boss trainer at every one of the islands today, which means we need really good Pokemon from these lucky blocks. We need to build the best team possible. And we're out of cobblestone, but do we have enough wood? Let's see if we can make it over. Come on. And yes, we made it to the first island, level 40. Okay, so hopefully we get some good luck from these lucky blocks. Let's see. They are common blocks, so we can get Pokemon like Lenu, which isn't that great at all. I'm pretty sure N's gonna have a Reshiram or a Zekrom, but yo, we upgraded. That's amazing. Okay, so if this upgrades again, a shiny legendary. That is so lucky. Dude, let's go. That's exactly what we need to because these bosses are gonna be hard. We get a Zev Striker from the next one. Come on, baby. Give me something good. A Mawile, which does have a Mega Evolution, but I don't think we can find that Mega Stone unfortunately. Next up, come on, baby. Give me something good. Endurance. All right. Interesting. Oh, and there's two. I think there's two more blocks left. One, two. Oh, no, there's three. All right, let's get this one first, please. Oh, it upgraded. I was so scared the Pokemon was just going to fall off the map and <laughs> shiny freaking Charizard, dude. No way. I will take that any day of the week. Thank you. We upgrade again to a shiny bag on, which isn't very great. That was a Salamence, though. Oh my gosh. And I believe this is our final block of this island. It's an Obstagoon. You can barely see it, I know, but yo, that is a great Pokemon. Now, honestly, I think this is the best team we can make. But since N is level 40, I had to set our team to level 40. But before we take on N, let's quickly visit this guy, get some better moves on our Pokemon. All right, but after that, I think our team is ready to fight. And guys, I am actually so nervous right now. Hey guys, really quickly, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. So seriously, I would appreciate it so much. And really, it just does take one simple click. Well, let's do it. Let's take on the first boss today. And he leads off with a Zekrom. How are we going to beat this? How do I beat a Zekrom? We go for Slash and it does a decent amount, but he just takes us out with Thunder. Oh God. He misses Thunder and there we go. Zekrom go... He has a Reshiram too. I should have expected this, but I really didn't want to think. He has a Reshiram too. He goes for Fire Blast and it just does so much, dude. Oh my gosh. All right, we're going to go to Charizard here because I do have the Dragon Breath, which can paralyze and it does paralyze. Just Dragon Breath, please kill it. Yes. Okay. Reshiram goes down. Kling Clang is here. I think I flame charge. He misses Zap Cannon. Oh my gosh, wait. So our speed goes up. Let's go for the Incinerate. We take out Kling Clang. Volcanion's going on a tear. Let's go for a Scald. Takes out the Archeops. Wait, it was actually a Zorar. Archeops is here. We're going for Scald. Wing Attack doesn't do anything. We take out the Archeops. We won. Oh my god. Dude, Volcanion. Dude, this is the best Pokemon. We got saved by a Volcanion. I can't believe it. Oh my Oh my gosh. All right. It's time for the next boss, Cyrus. And Cyrus is right there. So we need a few more cobblestone. Oh, I thought I broke the generator. Okay, we're good. We have 40 though. I think that's enough. And I think it'll actually take less blocks if we just build from here. So let's do that. And look at that. We are here. And Cyrus is level 60. Okay. But thankfully we have better lucky blocks now. Uncommon blocks, which means they can upgrade into no freaking way. Our first lucky block is a shiny Reishi which is a fusion between Urshifu and Rayquaza. I cannot even believe that. Okay, all right. Next block is a shiny Drudigan. Honestly, one of my favorite shinies. I just love this. Like the green and orange, it shouldn't look good, but I just think it does. I think it looks great. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss any lucky blocks as well, but let's just open this one. Okay, that's terrible. That's not gonna help us at all versus N. Dude, I'm so scared the Pokemon's just gonna fall into the abyss. Please. Oh, oh, no, come. Thank God. 
Dude, if that somehow fell and we missed a shiny Aegislash, I don't know what I would have been so upset. Oh, that is so big, dude. That is one of the best Pokemon we could have gotten. Primeape as well. Not too good, I'll be honest. Not too great. But dude, the fact we got a fusion already, like I, I am so excited. What can we get next? We get a shiny Nidorino, which is not too interesting, nor good. So I'm actually really scared. Like I we need better Pokemon for this fight. So let's see. We get a shiny Eldegoss, which is a final evolved Pokemon. So you know what? It's not terrible. And is this our final lucky block? And I think it is, but guys, I just can't wait till we get to that island. Look, rare lucky blocks. And it's pretty far away, but you can see the master lucky blocks over there. I want those so bad. Well, let's see what we get. A shiny Kingler. You know what? I'll take that. That's pretty awesome. I think I'll swap Lining for the Reishifu and Aegislash for Durant. Well, I think that's the final team we're gonna go with. Let me just make a quick stop with our friend here, and then it's battle time. Oh, crap. I just realized I'm still in creative too. Here, let me throw away like half of my cobblestone, so that's fair. Sorry, guys. I was trying to get rid of some of the structures on the island, like from the last time we recorded on Skyblock, so that's why I went to creative, but either way, it's time to take on Cyrus. So yeah, sorry about that, but here it is time to take on Cyrus, baby. He's got a Honchkrow. Okay, just like that, we take down Honchkrow. Can I hit a cross chop on a Dialga, though? Yes, I can, and thankfully we can, too. So now I think we just go out into this dude. We can just brick break Dialga. Reishifu going crazy. Now we are on Palkia. This has to be, like, the last Pokemon, right? This has to be Cyrus's last Pokemon. I could try just coming out here and outraging it. Let's just try that first. Outrage takes down Palkia, and we have won the battle. Let's go. We took down Dialga and and Palkia, Cyrus, uh, eat that. But now we've beaten two out of the four boss trainers. Our next challenge is right over here. With all the legendary lucky blocks, we do need a few more cobblestone, I think, though, so let's just do this. Let's just get to mining, man. It's my favorite part. All right, we got 30 now. I feel like that's probably enough. I really hope so, at least, because my pickaxe is almost broken, so <laughs> we could run into a problem. Oh my gosh, we're so close. Come on, the dirt. Can the dirt save us? I think we can make it. I think we can make it. Let's go! All right, we're on the third third island and here is maxi at level 80 okay you already know what time it is it's time to open some lucky blocks these can all be legendary pokemon which means they can upgrade to shiny legendary pokemon but right away we get a thunderous dude that is so strong let's go this lucky block has to be scared if the pokemon just runs off the cliff thank you dialga get in get in get in Yes, okay, okay. If that Dialga just fell, I would have I would have cried myself to sleep. I'm not gonna lie. All right, but next up is a Kyogre. This is like one of the most helpful legendaries we could catch, probably. That is amazing. Oh, can it get any better than that? A Zacian art. Don't run, don't run. Imagine, imagine he's just like, let me be free, <laughs> and he falls. Oh, that is so good. Like, it actually got better than Kyogre. That is amazing. All right, Regice, not very good, but still a legendary. Let's keep it up, come on. Ooh, a Kiram, dude. That's gonna be nice. I think we should put that on the team. I mean, ice type coverage, beautiful. Suicune, some bulk. I love this legendary Pokemon. Oh, but is this our final lucky block right here before the maxi battle? I think it is. And oh, it upgraded. We get a shiny legendary Pokemon. And it's a shiny Marshadow. Dude, I'll take that. But yeah, I don't see any more blocks. So let's check out the team. I mean, it would be wrong to just not fill the team with legendaries, right? All right. And I think the team is all set. Let's waste no more time. It's time to take on Maxi, who leads off with a wheezing. Okay, I'm just gonna go for a discharge here. Does a lot. And uh, I'm just gonna volt switch now because I don't wanna take poison damage. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Let's go to Zacian. Yeah, I feel hella confident in this pick. Ooh, but I don't think I can really touch a Charizard. I'm gonna go to my Volcanion here. Can't forget about this, dude. He saved us in that first battle. Let's just go for the Steam Eruption and boom, destroyed. <gasps> but Groudon is here, guys. I'm gonna go to Thunderous here. There we go. There we go. On the Earth Power, beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna drop your defense. This is what I'm gonna try to do with Crunch. Okay. All right, he went for rest. I'm bringing out Kyogre then. This is what we need to do. Origin Pulse, please hit. Yes, Groudon gets one shot. Okay, there we go. That's what we needed. Next is Mighty Yenna. Okay, well, I guess we can just stay in. Where is the Mighty Yenna? There's the guy. How you doing? Okay, let's just Origin Pulse. Mighty Yenna goes down. Blaziken, I just, I'm staying in and clicking this move. Camerupt is here. I'm just gonna click it. I'm, I'm just gonna click. <gasps> Mega Camerupt. Yo, this is sick, guys. Look at this. I love Mega Camerupt. It's definitely one of my favorite Megas. It's just, it's so cool. Let me just Origin 
impulsive though. I'm sorry. I know I just called it really cool and I'm just gonna annihilate it. Bye bye. And we have won the battle GG Maxi, which means we have one more final boss in this challenge. And he's on this island and you can just barely see him right there. Look at that. And I just need to farm up some cobblestone now and we'll make our way over. Oh, and our wooden pickaxe is gonna break. No. Oh, let's go though. Okay, I was able to break some of these blocks. We can just farm these, yo. Give me this. We just need one more. Yes, there we go. Okay, okay, because now we can make a wooden axe again. Oh, thank God. All right, but we got 23 cobblestone. I don't think this is enough, but let's just see. Yeah, and just as I expected, not enough. But yo, look at Giovanni. Oh my gosh. Guys, the final boss is right there. I am so nervous. Okay, but now we should be good to get there. Let's go. We made it to the final island. Giovanni at level 100. And look at all these beautiful, epic, lucky blocks. Let's do this, man. First block is no freaking way it upgraded to a fusion and we have a mana risu which is mana fee and pacha risu super cool that's also a very strong fusion so let's go bro next up is a shiny calyrex yes probably won't use that unless we get like a spec trier but dude i'll take that how does it get much better than this all right let's open this block come on we get a shiny Verizian. i love this shiny so much look at the pink looks so good well, let's keep it up man can we keep it are you serious shiny eternatus that has to come to the battle that has to oh my god and next up is a shiny Crystallia. one of my favorite shiny legendaries dude oh i'm s okay well it it's one of my favorite, but that doesn't mean I want two of them. Come on. But we're on to our final two lucky blocks. Come on, baby. Come, another upgrade. Yes, come on. Come on. Come on. And we get the Laprera Fusion. Nice. Lapras and Torterra. That is so classic, dude. I love how this looks. Thankfully, also a very strong fusion. But guys, we're here. Our final lucky block. Before we take on the final boss. Three, two, one. Ah. Oh, what a fitting end, dude. Yes. Okay, we get an upgrade as well. And it is a Mewtwo Zera Aura fusion. Mew Aura. Thank you. I'm gonna limit myself to only two fusions for the Giovanni battle. So I think this is the final team. So let's visit the move guy one last time and then take on the boss, Giovanni. And now, guys, the time has come to take on Giovanni. I am so nervous, but there's no way around this. Giovanni, here we come. And he leads off with the Nido king okay i don't think i need to explain why that is bad for us but i'm just gonna go for a crunch like what can a needle king do to me oh a lot more damage than i did to him that's for sure okay here is the mewtwo the mega mewtwo i don't know what mewtwo this will be it could be mega x or mega y i don't know i don't want to swap into anything though we're just gonna stay in unfortunately mega mewtwo takes us out it's the Mega Mewtwo X. Um, if it's X, I'm going into Zacian because we're a fairy type. Oh, look at that, dude. Mega Mewtwo is so sick. All right, we got to win this. I'm going to go for a Moon Blast here. Psy Strike does a lot, but Moon Blast does a little more. And thankfully, we dropped the special attack, so Moon Blast can take it out again. Doug Trio is here. But what do I do here? I want to use my Mew Aura or my Mera Aura, excuse me. And let's just try a Psychic. How much does that do? Sucker Punch. Oh, my gosh. We take it down. Neo Queen comes in, though. Can we just psych this and kill it? Can we? We do. And we have won the battle and the Sky Block Challenge. DG Giovanni. Today, we're back on Pixelmon Skyblock, and each surrounding island is filled with lucky blocks and an overpowered mega boss Pokemon. Our goal is to make it to each island, open all the lucky blocks, and defeat each mega boss in order. Can we beat the shiny mega Tyranitar boss at the end? And here we are, guys, on the Skyblock. And yo, just look at all those mega boss Pokemon. We gotta take those down. But first things first, let's pop open this chest, get our Master Balls in our buckets. And just like that, we got all the basics done. We got the cobblestone generator built. And of course, a few pickaxes to mine the cobblestone. And there we go. Oh, I'm gonna die. What, oh, I'm gonna die. Get in the water. Okay. <laughs> but we got like 30 cobblestone now. So let's try and make our way over to the first island, which as you may have noticed, has a mega boss Alakazam on it. And this Alakazam is an uncommon boss, meaning it'll be 10 levels over our highest level. So if we have a level 100 Pokemon, it's gonna be level 110. And if you think that's scary, just wait till the mega Tyranitar boss. Because he 
is gonna be level 140, but we have made it to the first island. Here is our mega boss, and it's an uncommon boss, so you know we got uncommon lucky blocks here. These all contain shiny Pokemon, but they can also upgrade to an even stronger lucky block. And look at that, we get a Mew as our first Pokemon. Let's go, baby, that's actually so good. So let's keep it up. I'm looking for like dark or ghost type Pokemon. Those would definitely help. We get another upgrade. Come on, baby, come on. And it's a Tapu Bulu. Get in that Master Ball. Yes, please, sir. Alexam is also weak to bug Pokemon, so those would be good too. But Primarina, not a bad Pokemon at all. Let's keep it up. Let's see if we can get an even better team. Oh my gosh, what is my luck? We get a Xerneas, guys. This is going insane. Okay, I actually didn't expect to get any legendaries, and that's what I was mostly expecting, like a cutie fly and like other terrible Pokemon. It's level 12, but you know what? I'll still catch it. Why not? And it seems like we got four uncommon lucky blocks left, so come on. Let's see if we can make some magic happen. We get a Squovet. Are you kidding? That's like one of the worst Pokemon we could get. I don't even, I'm not even gonna catch that. And we get this lucky block. Let's see. A Ducklet. Oh no, that is not gonna help at all. I'm actually really starting to get nervous for this first battle. Nevertheless, we continue. We get ourselves a Pidof. What the heck, dude? We have actually gotten some of the worst possible Pokemon. I can't even catch it. Why not? But I believe this is our final uncommon lucky block. So come on, can we make the magic happen? Well, yes, we can. Final block upgrades. Come on, what's it gonna be? And we upgraded again, guys. This is a guaranteed shiny legendary. It's a guaranteed fusion. We get ourselves a Zekazard. I can't believe we upgraded all the way to a fusion block, but this is a Zekrom Charizard fusion. You know we're catching that. All right, so I made the whole team level 100, so we can come back to the mover learner here and actually get the signature fusion move onto our Zekazard. But not only that, we can teach our other Pokemon great moves like Xerneas should know Moonblast. We can give Tapu Bulu Wood Hammer as well. But now that that's done, we can make our way back to the Mega Alakazam. So you're facing the wrong way, buddy. What's going on? But guys, it is time to take on our first Mega Boss. We have Mega Alakazam here. Thankfully, Tapu Bulu does learn Mega Horn, which is a really strong bug move. Hopefully it connects and Tapu Bulu is confused and we hit the Mega Horn, which does a lot of damage. That's amazing. Unfortunately, it did not kill though. Can we maybe live in... Tapu Bulu goes down. But can our Zekrom Charizard Fusion save the day? Come on, Zekazard. Flare Blitz takes down the Mega Alakazam boss. Ooh, and we got an Ender Pearl. We could use that to teleport. But with that, we have defeated our first Mega Boss. So let's get some more Cobblestone and move to the next one. And now that we got some more cobblestone, it's time to make our way to the next boss, which is a rare level boss, Mega Gyarados, meaning it's gonna be 20 levels above our highest Pokemon. So if we're level 100, you know, this dude is gonna be level 120, which is just crazy, man. Pokemon are not supposed to be that high level. And we might be able to make it, can we? Can I make, I cannot make that jump. But the dirt, come on dirt, save us here, please. I think we can make that jump. Let's go, baby. So we've made it to our second island, which has rare lucky blocks. Look at the crystal lucky blocks on the final island. I cannot wait to open those crystal Pokemon are so sick, but so are these rare lucky blocks. So come, oh my, we have ourselves a Ray Quaza. That is insane. First lucky block too. Come on, let's keep the luck up. We get a Raikou next, which isn't as good, but still amazing. No complaints. Yeah, Gyarados, you see that Raikou? You like that, Gyarados? I know he's probably shaking in his boots. All right, let's keep it up though. We get a Typhonol, which is not very good, but this block here, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling this block. Another Tapu Bulu. Okay, not the best. We don't really need another Tapu Bulu, but you know what? It's okay. We get a Dialga on the next one. Ugh. That is so, so clean, bro. But next up is an Entei. Can we get the Suicune and complete the trio? Who knows? It is quite possible. Let's see. We get an Azel, which I'm not too excited about. I'll be completely honest. But there's still a lot worse things. Like, we could have got a Melton or a Cosmo. So I can't complain too much. And, okay. All right. All right. That's a little ridiculous. Three Dabu Bulus. I don't think we need that. But we do need a Lugia. So that is huge. And unless I miss one, which I don't think I did. This should be our final rare lucky block. Let's see what we can get. Come on, if this upgrades, I'm gonna get so hyped. I need to speak to my lawyer. I need to speak to someone in power. Tapu Bulu, leave me alone, please. You know, our Tapu Bulu did faint, so we have to get rid of it. But maybe it's good that we got some others, but dude, I wish we got something else. But either way, let's fill the team with these OP legends. Let's teach these new Pokemon some moves real quick. But now that we're done with that, let's take on our second mega boss, Mega 
Gyarados, like I said, is going to be level 120. And I think Xerneas is the perfect option to take on this Mega. I'm just gonna go ahead and go for a little Moonblast and see what happens. Waterfall does a lot to us. But we did drop the special attack of Gyarados. Not that that really matters. Waterfall, unfortunately, just takes out Xerneas. You know what? Let's send in the Tapu Bulu here. Because worst comes to worst, if we lose Tapu Bulu, we have two more in the backup. So, like, I'm really not worried. One hammer comes out and takes down the second boss. Well, there we go, guys. We can continue on to the next island, which actually is right here. All right. And I really hope 20 cobblestones enough because I want to try something kind of cheeky here. Oh, it worked. Let's go. I really hope we have enough cobblestone to build back over to the sky block. But either way, we made it to the epic boss, Mega Charizard Y. And boy, does he look scary. And epic bosses are 30 levels over. So this is going to be level 130. Well, let's see if we can luck out a bit and we get a shiny Lugia as our first block. Come on, baby. It's just that easy. We get... That's kind of trash. Regigigas is not very good, but you know what? It's a shiny legendary. I really can't complain too much, but let's keep it up. Come on. Can we get something that's a little more usable? Bop. That's what I'm talking about, baby. A fusion lucky block. We get a Zorcario, which is Hisuian Zoroark and Lucario fused. That is so cool. I'd love to get at least one more fusion Pokemon for our team. That'd be amazing. And just speak it into existence. Just speak it. We get a Mera Aura. Mewtwo and Zara Aura, obviously. That just looks so good. It's also a great fusion Pokemon too, so I'll take that. I'll also take a Cresselia. Cresselia is super underrated, I feel like. It's very, very bulky. We want something offensive, though. Not like that. <laughs> Not like a Kung Fu. Urshifu would have been great, but Kung Fu? Uh, I don't know. And it looks like we got four epic blocks left, so come on. Let's make them count. Shiny Arceus. Wait, hold on. I gotta catch this before he jumps off the cliff. Okay. Shiny freaking Arceus, baby. That's what's up. Come on. Doesn't get better than that. I don't think it does. Even with this fusion block, it's a Giratina and Gyarados fusion, but still, man, I'll take the Arceus. I will take the shiny Arceus any day, and there we go. We get a Marshadow. As for our final lucky block, before taking on the level 130 Mega Charizard, we have another upgrade. Come on, baby. Give me, like, the Arceus Eternatus fusion. That'd be insane. Oh, and we get a Zerkatry Deoxys fusion. Hey, I'll take that, too. What should the team look like here? Obviously, we don't want Tapu Bulu. He's weak to Charizard. Mera Aura would be good, because it's an electric type. Ooh, and Raikou too, obviously. Now that the team is fully assembled, let's take on the boss and look at that. Level 130. I am nervous, guys. That is 30 levels above us. Oh my gosh. Okay, but if we can get a Paralyze on this Discharge, that would be huge. Come on. No, he crit me! He crit Raikou! Oh, that is actually so bad. All right, but who do we send out now? I think Mera Aura is the dude for the job. And let's actually try the signature move, Flash Step. He goes for Ember. He doesn't even have Flamethrower. And we just boosted our speed with that move flashed up. That's insane. Can we outspeed though? We do outspeed and take down the Mega Charizard Y. Let's, oh, we got a Charizard Y. Okay. Not bad at all, baby. But now we have one final boss to beat. And hopefully I can build myself back over to the cobblestone generator. I mean, we aren't that far. We should have more than enough cobblestone here. We had just enough cobblestone. Oh my gosh. And just look at that mega T-tar. I am so nervous, guys. Let's get a few more cobblestone, then head out. And yep, there goes my pickaxe. So I'm really hoping 27 cobblestone is enough to get to the final island where our final challenge awaits us. Guys, I know we've done pretty well against the bosses up until this point, but that is a mega Tyranitar. So if we don't have like a good fighting type Pokemon, then like we don't stand a chance and we don't have enough cobble. Okay, let's get some dirt or something. All right, we got three blocks of dirt. I think we can make it now. One, two, three, and boom. We have made it to the final island, which not only contains the final boss, but also crystal lucky blocks, which each contain a custom crystal Pokemon. I was just saying we need a fighting type, and here is an Urshifu, our first lucky block. The lucky block gods have heard us. Let's go, baby. We get ourselves a glass dryer as well. Okay. That looks really sick in the crystal form. Break this one right behind Tyranitar. Come on. Ooh, a register. Not the best, but honestly pretty good against Tyranitar. Tyranitar being weak to steel typing and all, but come on. Let's get this one. Come on. Ooh, another fight 
fighting type, we get ourselves Marshadow. Okay, we're cooking now. Mega Titar, you better watch out, bro. I don't care if you're level 140. I seriously don't, because we're just getting good mods. We get a Hoopa. We've already got an Arceus today, but a Crystal Arceus would be really cool. Crystal D'Olga. Let's help him out. He's inside of a wall. Let me, let me save you, buddy. Yeah, there you go. You're welcome. Other than Urshifu and Marshadow, I have no idea what I want the team to be against this, but here we go. We get a Type Null, which honestly is trash. Really cool Pokemon, just not good in battle. We get a Crystal Diancie, which is perfect. I mean, the Pokemon is literally a crystal. Like, Crystal Diancie doesn't make sense. And now I believe we have our final two Lucky Blocks before the final challenge. We get another Glass Dryer. Come on, man. Just don't give me a dupe, all right? Our final Crystal Lucky Block is a Tapu Fini, which is actually so good against Tyranitar. Being Water and Fairy type are super effective against both of Titar's typing. And I think this is our final squad that we're gonna go with. So let's do it, guys. Let's take on the level 140 Mega Titar. Shiny Mega Titar, actually. It's actually shiny if you look in the top left. Crystal Urshifu, can you put the team on your back and carry us? Let's find out. Let's hit him up with a Brick Break. I might've just came up with a big brain strat if we live this move. Because we have the move Counter here. And what Counter does is basically if we were hit by a physical attack that turn, it'll deal double that damage to our opponent. So come on, we just gotta live one Thunder Fang, I think. Thunder Fang unfortunately kills Dang. My, but Mars Shadow on the other hand, here we go. Can you help us? We have Counter as well. Wait, hold on. Let's try that again. Counter, we eat up the Fire Fang and Counter takes down the level 140 Mega T-Tar and we have completed the Mega Boss Sky Block Challenge. Today we're back on Pixelmon Skyblock, and each surrounding island has a powerful legendary boss Pokemon we need to defeat. Our goal is to make it to each island, open all of the lucky blocks, then defeat the legendary boss Pokemon of that island. And this all leads up to the final island challenge where we'll fight the god of all Pokemon, Arceus. So here we are on the Pixelmon Skyblock, and oh, as you can see, there are some really strong legendary Pokemon, and our final challenge, Arceus, is right there. But I think for our first challenge, here, we should start with the one and only Dialga. So let's just do the typical Skyblock stuff, make the cobblestone generator and all that. Ooh, but of course we can't forget about our chest. We get some Master Balls, a Water Bucket, and a Lava Bucket. But now we got the cobblestone generator and our wooden pickaxe. I'll probably get a stone pickaxe later, but now we can farm cobblestone to make it over to Dialga. All right, but there we go. We have 25 cobblestone. So let's just go ahead and see if we can't bridge over to Dialga. I think 25 should be like more than enough cobblestone and yeah i think we're doing good we are so good we have made it to the first island Ooh, and look at all of these lucky blocks there's a rare lucky block each island has four uncommon blocks and we get a binnacle which is honestly trash i also misspoke each island has four common blocks three uncommon two rare and one epic so there's a chance to get three legendary pokemon on each island but we gotta open these up we just got a gotharita not too great we get a shiny oddish oh god and remember guys we are building the team to fight Dialga, so we need some good po- Oh, there's an epic block. We're gonna have to build up to that. Okay, we'll handle that later. We have a Del Fox. Okay, fully evolved starter Pokemon. That's really good. Let's keep it going here. We get a Cryogonal. Interesting. And did we just get an upgrade? We did! Each lucky block has a very small chance, when broken, to just upgrade to a stronger lucky block. So we're gonna get our first legendary right here. Let's see. Boop! It upgraded again. Shiny legendary. Our very own shiny Darkrai. Is it Darkrai over there? Yeah, we can take on the boss dark right with our own. That is too perfect. All right, let's keep it up. We have another rare block right here. It's in Urshifu. Yo, that is actually so, so helpful. But I'm just gonna see, did we catch all of the Pokemon? I'm pretty sure we did. So our final lucky block is this epic block. Please don't die. Please don't die. Thank you. But can we get up there? That is the real question. Why don't we just bridge ourselves over like this? Please don't fall. Wait, if this Pokemon just falls down and we lose it, I'm gonna be so sad. We have a shiny Mewtwo. He's inside of the building. You can't even see him. Let's freaking go. Do oh, wait, there's another lucky block. Okay, good. Good thing I saw this one. Definitely don't want to miss out on any blocks. There's a rare one there too. We have two blocks. Oh, two rare blocks to open, baby. What is happening today? Oh, it upgraded to a god luck. Dude, what is even happening right now? I don't even know what's happening. Let's just open this rare block. We get ourselves a Celebi. But guys, we have upgraded all the way to the god lucky block. And if you don't know, these give you three legendary Pokemon. So let's see what we get. We get a shadow Jirachi, or that's corrupted. We get 
get a shiny Diancie, but guys, take a look at the Crystal Mewtwo. I mean, that's getting in the Master Ball. But guys, it is time to take on Dialga, and something I forgot to mention is these legendaries are level 140. So our Pokemon cap out at level 100, they are 40 levels above. I think I need to sucker punch here. I don't think I'm gonna live any hit Dragon Breath. Yeah, it's just one shot Urshifu. I do have a small plan for this fight though, and it all relies on Celebi. And I don't think I've ever said those words before, but if we can land a singular Parish song, oh my gosh, then I think we can win. I think we can actually do this. Celebi, you might have just carried the team, but you see this though, we needed some kind of strat or we're just gonna get destroyed. Mewtwo, get an Aura Sphere, baby. Dragon Breath, we don't die to, but the Parish song takes down Dialga. And if you don't know how Parish song works, basically if you're out on the field for three turns, you just die. And we get some rewards as well. I'm gonna take the Steel Gem and Shed Shell just in case. But there we go, guys. We got one island done. Time to move on. And I think our next order of business should be Dark Rise Island over here. Trust me, he's over there. He's just hiding. He's a little shy. Let me just build this stone pickaxe real quick, just so this goes a bit faster. All right, but there we go. 25 cobblestone again. Is that going to be enough? This island's a little further away than the last one. Let's just see if we can make it happen. We have a few more blocks as well, if needed. Let's see here. Oh, we are so close, dude. I might just be able to jump. Let's use some dirt. But there we go. We have made it to the second island, Dark Rise Island, to be exact. Let's get into these blocks, baby. We get a Hatina. That is probably not going to help us out against Dark Rye. A Skitty, which definitely won't help. We get a, ooh, a Crocodile. Wait a sec. That's actually powerful. I will take that. The final common block is a Jinx, which isn't too good, isn't too bad. Let's move on to Uncommon now, though. We get a Shiny Basculin. Maybe if it was the other forms, we could evolve with the Basculin Legion, but let's see what we get here. A an upgrade to a rare Lucky Block. No way this upgrades again, right? Ooh, we get an Ensei. That could definitely help us out against Darkrai. I am feeling it. We get ourselves another upgrade from the next uncommon. I'm just trying to find the other uncommon blocks. They're like all upgrading. Where are the other blocks? One right there. There's one right there. Oh, I bet there's a block up here. There has to be. All right, let's open these up first. We get an epic lucky block and it's a shiny Palkia. Okay, so we get a shiny Darkrai and a shiny Palkia. I mean, it's only right. Let's keep this up though. Three for three. I think the upgrade chance is only like 15 to 20 percent. This is insane. And we get another god lucky block. It doesn't get better than that. Regigigas, are you okay? Where is your body? We have a Crystal Zarude, half of a Regigigas, and a shiny Groudon, which is insanely good. But we are not even done with these lucky blocks yet. Yeah, there's a rare lucky block right there. And yup, I was right. I see the epic block, but how are we gonna get all the way up there? Oh my gosh. I guess little by little, but first things first, we can start just getting a bunch of sand to tower up with. Please tell me 19 sand blocks is enough to get up there. Here we go. We get a Mew from that rare lucky block. All right, we have a Mew and a Mewtwo now. But we are not stopping just yet. We need to make it all the way up to that block right there. Yes, we have made it up. But can I get to that block? The answer is yes, baby. We made it. And I mean, we've already opened like four epic blocks this island, but let's just see another. Oh, Groudon, he is killing me again. No, I'm in a death loop of Groudon just killing me over and over. Groudon, can I even catch you? Can you just get in the Master Ball? There we go. Sweet, we have caught the shiny Groudon. Let's go ahead and prepare this final team. But here we are, level 140 Darkrai. Oh boy, okay, I'm gonna click X Scissor first. Let's just see if this is gonna do a decent amount and okay. I mean, that did just about 30% of Darkrai's health. I am very happy with that. And honestly, it doesn't seem like Darkrai can touch Zarude at all. This is actually working out great. Okay, okay, Zarude, just one more X Scissor, buddy. Just one more more X scissor. That's all we need. And Dark Ride goes down, baby. We have taken down the second boss of the challenge. Let's see what do we get here? A dark gem. Sure, I'll take that. I don't think anything else is of use, but there we go, guys. And we can move on to the next island. And I think next we should take on the one and only Palkia. And there we go, baby. 25 seems to do the trick, so we're just gonna rock out with 25. I feel like this is a shorter distance, so hold up. Let's just bridge from here. Trying to just save as much cobblestone as possible. Come on, baby. Can we make it? I think we can. Perfect. And look at Mr. Palkia. I'm actually really scared to take on Palkia. So let's get these blocks up and we get ourselves a P-Dub. That is not gonna help a Tyrant. Interesting. Okay. Next up, though, we have... Oh, it upgraded. Okay. Common block upgraded. Can we keep it going? 
No way. Getting a legendary from a common block is insane, and we get a Hoopa. That could actually help out against Palkia, too. Not bad. I wish there's only one more oh, common block. Here it is. Okay, we have a Dragonite. Totally evolved pseudo legendary. I mean, dude, I will take that. I think I have to use a sand block here, too, to get back up. That's fine. But yo, some insane common blocks from this island. Let's keep it up. We get a shiny Aurorus. That is such a good shiny. Next up is, can we even break this block? Palkia's in the way. It's a shiny Gossiflor. You can barely see it. Oh, and here's the final uncommon block. All right, let's see what we get. A shiny Clang. That is honestly not interesting. Honestly, he looks like he's just part of the wall. But now is the real part. We got to look around. I see a rare block there. Can I maybe jump up and hit that? I don't think so. Oh, uh, we might have to go back for more stone. Okay, let me just see if I can get all this sand. All right, all right. 15 blocks of sand. This should be enough at least to get this rare block. Yeah, right here is a Latias. Fast dragon Pokemon. That could definitely help out against Palkia. Are you going to stay in the Master Ball? Oh, I don't even know if we can catch this Latias. Like, it's in the range of the Palkia, so it keeps thinking I'm trying to catch Palkia. Ooh, okay. I see a rare block over there, though. Let's try and get up here. Ooh, okay, okay. So we're getting some height here. Oh, I see an epic block. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Let's jump here. Boom, bada bing. Okay, I think we're good. Do need a few blocks, though, to get up here. Let's, let's do this. Boom, okay. Dude, this is so stressful climbing up here. But we can do that. We have made it to the top. We are on top of the world right now. Oh, my gosh. Let's see if this upgrades. That would actually be so poetic. Let's see. And it's a shiny Volcanion. Okay, fortunately, I still don't think we'll have any luck. Oh, there we go. We caught Latias. Okay, I thought we weren't going to be able to get it. There is still one more rare block, and it's right there, baby. Let's see. We get a Reggie Rock, which honestly, not the best legendary at all. All right, and you guys might call me crazy, but I'm bringing crowd on and I'm leading off with it. I know Palky is a water type. We just set up the sun, which means water moves are going to be very weak right now. So we can try and get off some decent damage. Precipice Blaze, that did a lot. That did just about 25%. I am so cool with that. But what is the next game plan? That I don't know. I think I just got to try Dark Void here. Please live. Dark Void miss! Oh my God. So not only do we get paralyzed from Dragon Breath, but hitting that Dark Void would have been so, so nice, guys. All right, we got to keep this up, though. Let's just try a Sucker Punch from Urshifu. Paralyzed me again. And now we're paralyzed and can't move. That is actually so rude, bro. All right, let's just go for Psy Strike here. He goes for Water Pulse, and thankfully it doesn't do a lot. Psy Strike does a decent amount, but unfortunately, yeah, no more of that. All right, we got to send out our Palkia now. Here we go, baby. Spatial Rend. If there's any time to do damage, now is that time. And Spatial Run, it knocked it out. No way. Palkia wins the battle for us. And we get a Master Ball from that. I mean, I think that is well-deserved. So let's go. We are three islands down. Only one more before we take on the God Pokemon. And he's right there, Mr. Arceus. But here we go. Garantina's next. And yeah, I think we need a lot of Cobblestone. We have none right now. All right, the magic number, 25 Cobblestone. Actually, I have 24. Hold on. There we go. I knew something fell wrong. All right, here we go go over to Giratina now. This is probably the most complicated bridge since it's not just like straight from the island. Like we gotta go up into the left here. Maybe I should turn right here? Yeah, we definitely do not have enough. We're honestly not even close. <laughs> Alright, but surely 10 more cobblestone is enough. I mean, come on. Bada bing, bada bing. Boom, we have made it. I almost thought we just fell for a second. But here we are on the final island before we take on the god Pokemon Arceus. Let's see if we get some luck. We get a Drift Limb, which actually isn't so bad. All right, don't sleep on Drift Limb. We do get a Sfeel, though. You can take a nap on Sfeel. Hey, come on, we got to finish strong here, baby. We get ourselves an upgrade to a shiny Goldeen. So we're going to pretend like that didn't happen. There we go, another upgrade. Save us. Yes, yes. No way this goes all the way to a god. Okay, if we upgraded from a common block... All the way to a god lucky block. That would be the actual luckiest thing ever. Moving on to the uncommon blocks. Now we have, ooh, an Axu. We could get a Haxorus if we want to. Not bad at all. Let's keep it up though. We get an Abra. Come on, man. Show me the upgrades. Our final uncommon block. Ooh, wait. Shiny Roserade. That could actually be nice. Of course, now we are on to the rare and epic blocks. I do see a rare block there and I do see a rare block there. So I can only assume the epic block is all the way up there. So let's just open this one to get a Zekrom. That is is actually sick and we have to mine a bunch of materials now otherwise there's like no chance i'm making it all the way up there and honestly i think i can save a few blocks if i just jump over to here and then tower up from here Ooh, 
way. I might have just big brain this. Hold on. Where's an epic block? Show me the epic block. It is up there. Okay, we still need to find a way up. Here we go. We get a Registeel. So we're only missing Regice. And we have all of the Regis in just one video, which is kind of crazy. I won't lie. Here we go. We should have enough. And we do. We have made it to the epic block. And guys, as you can see from the Arceus Island, there are only epic blocks on that island. So it's gonna get pretty crazy. But here we go. Final epic block before we take on Giratina. Ooh, oh, I thought it was a shiny Zacian. A shiny Zamazenta. Still really good and really cool, but definitely not as good as a Zacian. But here we go, guys. Let's find our way down and take on Giratina. And for this battle, I actually decided to bring Crocodile. Because Crocodile actually has the intimidate ability, so we can go ahead and lower Giratina's attack just in case. And then we can also go for a beautiful foul play. Unfortunately, Crocodile goes down. Honestly, I don't trust Darkrai going for Dark Void. I think I'm just gonna Dark Pulse. Yeah, that was the right play anyways, because we're faster. Giratina is very low health, only 34% left. We can Sucker Punch here. Oh, that does so much. Let's go. And we live, meaning Urshifu can hook it up with the next Sucker Punch. Oh, we didn't even kill it. No, I celebrated too early. It's at 0.3 HP left. No way I actually lose this, right? No way. We go for Earthquake here. Takes down Giratina. I was getting scared for a second. We have beaten all four islands. It is time to make our way to Arceus and put an end to this Sky Block Challenge. I'm trying to win. All right, and both my pickaxes have officially broken. Ooh, and wait, actually might be easier to build over from this island. I'm kind of liking that idea, actually. Yeah, this is so close. So let's see what we can do with 18 cobblestone blocks. We are just running low on resources. Please tell me we can make it. We have made it to the final island where the god Pokemon Arceus resides. He's just chilling here. He's been holding down the fort, waiting for us. As you can see, we have some epic lucky blocks to open up. Anyways, though, let's crack open the easiest one first, and we get a shiny Virizion, which is a fighting type, so that could definitely help out against Arceus. We should be able to get this one as well. A shiny Tapu Bulu. One of my favorite shiny legendaries for sure. Also a great Pokemon as well. Boom! We have made it to the final epic lucky block. What's it gonna be? Maybe three, two, one, go! And it is a shiny Calyrex. I can't even tell that it's shiny right now, but there we go. But now we have opened all of the lucky blocks, so it's time to build the final team to take on Arceus. And guys, it is all led up to this moment here. Let's take on the god Pokemon Arceus. Starting off with a similar strategy. We got Crocodile out here. I'm just going to click foul play and hope that we don't die. Crocodile, a monster holding on from the Hyper Boys, not going down. We're going to bring out the defensive Zamazenta. Hopefully, we can just live one hit and fire off a close combat, which we do. Okay, Arceus is just over half HP. Okay, there's the extreme speed. I think I'm going to go out to Groudon and we're going to click Precipice. Oh, no, no. We're going to click Hammer Arm. Yeah, baby. Hammer Arm. Please hold on. Hits! Okay. Arceus has 20% of HP. We've come so far and we are so close to this. All right, but Palkia. Arceus only has 8% health left. Can we take it out with this Aura Sphere? And it looks like we did. Arceus goes down to Palkia. Palkia putting the team on its back. And we have won the Sky Block Challenge. Today, we're playing Pixelmon Skyblock. And each surrounding island has an overpowered fusion boss Pokemon we need to defeat. Our goal is to make it to each island, open all the lucky blocks, build the best team, and take on the fusion boss Pokemon of that island. And this all leads up to the final island challenge where we take on the Arceus Eternatus fusion Arsenatus. And here we are, guys, back on this sky block. And as you can see, we have some OP fusion Pokemon around us, as well as the final boss, Arsenatus. Okay, that is freaking me out. Let's just do the normal sky block stuff. Get our water bucket, our lava bucket, get some wood as well, and just do all of the typical sky block stuff. And now we got the cobblestone generator going, so we can start building up some materials. And we got about 20 cobblestone now, so we can start thinking about what island we want to take on first. And Hydragosaur is the only non-legendary Pokemon fusion here. So let's try and take it on first. Hopefully, it'll be the easiest fusion. Oh, we just ran out of cobblestone. Wait, we have dirt, though. Can we finish the bridge? I think we need, like, four or more cobblestone, then we're fine. And that should be enough to get us over. Come on, please. Please. Yes, and we can make it to the first island. And look, check out all of these lucky blocks. We got a break. Let's go. And speaking of lucky blocks, for each boss that we beat, we'll be awarded a fusion lucky block. So there's a huge chance we get 
some fusion Pokemon on our team today, but let's see what we get from these. Oh, we get an Age of Slash. Oh my God. Wait, that is actually so good from a common lucky block. Are you kidding? What's this next one gonna be? A Macargo. Interesting. That could maybe help against the Hydreigasaur. He's a grass type. But come on, we need some more heat. There we go. Upgraded to a rare lucky block, which of course contains a free legendary Pokemon. We'll come back to that though. We get ourselves a shiny Poliwag. Next up is a shiny Pangoro. Okay. And we have a Zatu as well. Is that the final common? Oh, oh, there's a rare block up there. Final common block is an Espeon, which is interesting. And oh, yeah, there's one right there too. Let's see what we get as our first legendary Pokemon today. Come on, please show me something crazy. Oh. It's a shaman, but have no fear. We do have two more rare lucky blocks on this island, it appears. So let's see, show me a crazy legendary. Maybe a flying type would be good. Come on, show me Lugia. A Tapu Fini. I feel like Tapu Fini kind of gets destroyed by Hydreigasaur. But then again, Tapu Fini is a fairy type, so it could definitely help. But our final lucky block before taking on the first fusion boss Pokemon is going to be... Oh, it upgraded to an epic lucky block. No way. All right, come on, baby. Free shiny legend. Show me something crazy. Actually, hold on. I would be really upset at a Red Ice normally, but I think this Pokemon is Grass and Dragon, which is times four weak to Ice type. Okay, we might be cooking. So I'm thinking this is gonna be the final team for the Hydreigasaur boss. Let's just do some last minute preparations then we'll take on Hydreigasaur. And here we are at the first fusion Pokemon battle. Tapu Fini versus Hydreigasaur. I think we do have the type advantage here. So let's find out. We go for Moonblast and it does a lot. He goes for Dragon Breath and it doesn't even affect us. Oh my gosh. I think we got saved. Oh, I clicked the wrong move. It doesn't even matter. He goes for Dragon Pulse. All right, what? <laughs> so Tapu Fini clutches it up for us in the first battle. Hydrosaur goes down. And most importantly, we have won a fusion lucky block, baby. So let's see what our first fusion is gonna be. Oh, a Kyo Lecky. No way. Regilecki and Kyogre fusion. I mean, that is insane. And we're gonna need that because it only gets harder from here. The next boss we're gonna take on is Marshmetal. So let's get ready. All right, and there's 30 cobblestone. So that's should be enough to bridge over to the next island, which is Marshmetal. With all this talk about boss fusion Pokemon, I mean, wonder what makes you a real boss? Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. It's very much appreciated. Thank you. And just like that, we have made it to the next island. And let's just scout what we got. I see some uncommon, some common lucky blocks. Oh, we got a rare lucky block and another one over there. Sweet. I mean, maybe we'll get another epic lucky block upgrade. That'd be crazy. But for now, let's just try and open some of these blocks. We get a leaf. Fanny. I think Marshmetal is Steel and Ghost type. So any types that help us with that, I will take. Dewpider, not so much. Let's keep it going. We get a Zoroark. Yo! Wait, that could definitely help out in this battle. Being a useful Dark type Pokemon, I mean, come on. And a Shiny Alolan Sand Slash. I don't know about that. I think there's only two more Lucky Blocks before we break. Oh my gosh, wait. You see that epic Lucky Block right there? I think that's on the Swamp Ogre Island. Dude, that's gonna be so cool. Let's finish off this one, though. We have a Torchic, and we have ourselves a Luminion, who's not even facing the right way. What's up, dude? A little camera shy. But here we go. Let's just try and make a little tower. And honestly, let's build a platform. I would be so heartbroken if we just break this lucky block and the Pokemon falls to its death. Please don't happen. Please. Ah, oh, come on, man. A type null. Okay, that kind of stings. But we still have one more rare block on this island with the chance to redeem ourselves. So come on, baby. I'll take pretty much anything other than a type null. Come on. Oh, oh, a Zacian. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. It really doesn't. All right, so let's build the team and take on Marshmetal. And it's time for the second fusion Pokemon battle. I actually kind of got a strat for this one. See, we're leading off with our dark type Pangoro. And first things first, we're just gonna click parting shot. Kind of a crazy play. But I just wanna drop Marshmetal's attack stat by a lot. And I think that's a pretty dang good way of doing it. Let's go out into Macargo. I'm gonna go for a Lava Plume here. He goes for Mega Punch and thank Thankfully, it barely does any damage. Lava Plume does a lot and picks up the burn. Macargo, I never thought I'd see that. Goes for another Lava Plume. Marsh Metal goes down, earning us our second fusion lucky block. I mean, come on. If this is a Marsh Metal, I'm not going to be sad at all. Oh, oh. Even better, it's an Agrazar. One of the OG fusion Pokemon on the Smash MC server. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. But it only gets harder from here because the next boss is over level 100. And that is this Swamp Ogre right here. I am so nervous. Wanna know what helps when I'm nervous? Mining Cobblestone. This is honestly the most peaceful part of the video. Ooh, and wait, wanna know what could be Big Brain? I feel like we'd save a lot of Cobblestone just building from this island. Yeah, look at this. We are so close to the Swamp Ogre Island. Oh, and thankfully we're coming from this 
angle. I don't think I would have seen that rare lucky block otherwise. But I think we can make it. Yeah, it looks like we're pretty much there at the Swamp Ogre Island. And this island doesn't have any common lucky blocks. It's only uncommon, rare, and epic. Let's start with an uncommon. Oh my gosh, what a way to start. Upgrade on the first block to a rare block. It's gonna be a Tapu Lele now. Interesting. I think we really want a good grass Pokemon for this fight. That would definitely help if we get a Toga Demaru. Next up is a Alolan Graveler Shiny. I don't think that's gonna help as well as this Shiny Drizzile. That's definitely not gonna help. Let's see, I know there's a rare block here, epic there, another rare here, and I'm assuming there's another one all the way at the top of this tree. I mean, that's how it is pretty much every time we play Skyblock. I just can't see it yet. Come on, maybe show me something crazy from this rare lucky block. Oh, another upgrade actually go oh it upgraded to a fusion lucky block so we luck out and we get a fusion block before beating the swamp ogre boss what's it gonna be oh a mutini mu and victini fusion i mean hey it's small but that doesn't mean it's not powerful i think i can just jump and break this one no oh a heatran kind of gets destroyed by swamp ogre i won't lie but let's see if we can't make our way up to this one in the glass here oh it upgraded again what <laughs> no freaking way okay while we're here i might as well try to make my way up dude there's actually no way oh my god yeah let's go here we go baby epic lucky block if this upgrades too i'm gonna go crazy i'm not gonna jump off the tree i don't even know what's he called on show me an upgrade Ooh, a shiny zara aura but of course that leaves us with a fusion lucky block before the battle come on man show me something crazy and oh that is crazy it's an absoldio absol keldio fusion i mean I'll take that. Oh, I almost forgot. We have this one down there. No way. It just, did it upgrade? Wait, no. Oh, it's an Eternatus. What the heck? What even just happened? I thought we got nothing in the Pokemon fell, but it was just too big to even render in. All right, let's take on Swamp Ogre. And here we go against the rare boss Swamp Ogre, baby. I know you can't see it because it's covered up, but this Swamp Ogre is level 120. So we need to lock in for this battle. We need some luck. Earthquake. Yes, yes, we hit the Nature's Madness. Oh my gosh. That is actually so big. Do we have held it to a level 120 fusion is insane. Got another trick up my my sleeve though here with the reg ice i just hope we can live any one singular move and we don't i'm gonna go out to kayo lucky here and we're just gonna go for the origin pulse baby and it hits earthquake takes us down to one shot though oh god all right zashian please he has 10 percent of his health left i think you just need to live one move and close combat takes down the swamp ogre baby the third fusion boss has been defeated and of course we get our prize of a fusion lucky block let's see what it's gonna become Come on, and ooh, a Zorcario, a Suian Zorark and Lucario fusion. I mean, I will take that for sure. And now we only have one more boss to take down before going to the final boss island. I feel like 30 cobblestone should be more than enough to get over here. Ooh, wait, I see epic lucky block up there. I feel like there has to be another at the top. So let's try and save some cobblestone too so we have some materials to build up with. And there we go. We made it to the Granitar Island. This Giratina Titar fusion is so menacing, bro. All right, but you know the drill. Let's open our lucky block. Oh, an upgrade right away. We are just getting blessed today, but we get a Fomantis, a shiny Vanillite. I think this is the last uncommon, which is a shiny Glaceon, which could technically be used in the battle against Granitar. Now we got some rare blocks to open. Show, oh my gosh, no way. We just get another, aw. Oh, <laughs> I tried to speak the upgrade into existence. Unfortunately, it is just a Meltan, which I'm not even gonna catch. We really don't need a Meltan, but we get another one. What is the upgrade chance? Holy crap, we'll get a glass dryer from that as well. Got another rare block here. It's upgrade again. No way this one upgrades too, right? If this upgrades, I'm gonna lose my mind. It's an Azel. Okay, that seems a bit more fair. We've been getting a lot of upgrades and I still feel like there's gotta be something up here, dude. And I don't care if I have to dismantle this entire thing that I'm standing on right now. We're gonna get up there somewhere or another. And just like that, okay, we made it to the first layer, but it's definitely all the way at the top if it's here at all. Wait, where did I get this epic lucky block from? It's a shiny Verizia. Oh, thank you. I, when did I get that? <laughs> I have no idea. And I think we did. We made it to the top. Let's go, baby. And we are on top of the world. Now, look at this island. Oh, all the fusion lucky blocks, too. Okay. But of course, we have our final epic block of the island, and it is a shiny Mewtwo. Yo, it's not going to be great against Garanitar, but hey, Arsenatus is a poison and normal type. We're going to need as many psychic Pokemon as possible. And here we are against Garanitar once again above level 100. So we really got to try hard in this battle.
battle if we want a chance to win. We barely scraped by the last one. And I'm gonna go for Zorcario's signature move, Illusionist Masterpiece. And look, it just turns us into Garanitar. <laughs> That's actually so funny. But all right, we get to see Garanitar's moveset. He has Payback, Thunderfang, Dragon Breath, and Rock Slide. So I guess maybe I just go for a Payback. I mean, it is super effective. Might as Oh, I guess Dragon Breath was too. Let's go for Dragon Breath this time. Give me a Paralyze. We paralyzed it. Ice Beam now. It's got to do... Oh, Rock Slide nearly takes out Regice. I think Regice... Yeah, Regice just goes down. All right. Sayonara, dude. Bye. But thankfully, we do have Tapu Lele in the back. I think a Moonblast should be able to handle it. And it does. Ranatar goes down, baby. We, of course, get our Fusion Lucky Block for winning. It's a Dragon Ninja. Oh, my gosh. But most importantly, it is time for the final Island Challenge. We got 25 Cobblestone. Now, is that enough to get to the final Island? Honestly, from over here, I'm thinking yes. We can definitely get to this boat. I mean, I really don't know how to describe it other than a boat. I mean, yeah, this is a boat. But most importantly, we have made it to the final island with Arsenatus here. Oh my god. And we still don't have our own Arsenatus to use against it. So this might be tricky. As you can see, we only have fusion lucky blocks to open here. So let's just get straight into it, baby. Come on, show me something crazy. Oh, and it's a Mewtwo Knight, Mewtwo Dragonite fusion. That is so good, dude. Like I said, said Arsenatus is normal and poison type. So with like some psychic type, some ground Pokemon, anything like that, that's super effective. For the next fusion block, we have ourselves a Blazicoco. Very fast fusion Pokemon that could definitely be useful on the team. Still have a few more and we get ourselves a Gerarcius. I can't even show you guys what this looks like. I'd have to jump off the island, but it's a Giratina Arceus fusion. I mean, that is, that is at the top of the ladder. Still more to go though. We have ourselves a sacred Mets. Poho in Salamence fusion. One of the OGs on the server. So sick for the team. All right, but next up we have a Laprera, another OG fusion Pokemon, Lapras and Torterra. Not sure if I'll use that. I believe there's one final fusion block up here. Yep, here it is, baby. Can I even break it from in here? We're gonna go our final fusion lucky block before we take on Arsenatus. It's going to be a... Ooh, a Reishifu, which is, of course, Rayquaza and Urshifu together. I mean, that is about it as cool as it gets. But it's time to build the final team and take on Arsenatus. And here we are, guys, in the final boss battle against the level 130 Arsenatus. And yeah, you heard me right. 130. And he crits us first turn with a poison tail. Why? I'm not gonna lie. That is pretty dang unfortunate. Hopefully, Azel can live here because I'm just gonna explode. He does live. We explode. And that did a lot. Okay, Azelf actually putting the team on its back. We have extreme speed on Kyle. Like we just need to do a little bit more damage. Oh my gosh, that might have been it. That might have been the little bit of damage we needed. Let's go to Zorcario. We have extreme speed on this Pokemon as well. Oh, it does a little, but doesn't do enough. But can Kyoleki clean this up? Arsenatus is at 6.3%. Please, extreme speed takes down the Arsenatus, and we have won the Fusion Pixelmon Sky Block Challenge. GG. Today we're playing Pixelmon Skyblock, and each surrounding island has an overpowered Gigantamax boss Pokemon we need to defeat. Our goal is to make it to each island, open all the lucky blocks, build the best team, then take on the G-Max boss of that island. And all this leads up to the final island challenge where we'll take on the powerful Gigantamax Charizard. But as you guys can see, we are here on the Skyblock, and just look at these Gigantamax boss Pokemon, and of course the final boss, G-Max Charizard. But we got a few challenges to do, before it's time for that. So let's just do all the basic normal Minecraft Skyblock stuff. All right, now we got our wood pickaxe and our nice cobblestone generator going. And I think G-Max Rillaboom is gonna be the first boss we go for. So let's get some cobblestone and make our way over. All right, well, we got 25 cobblestone, much easier to get with the stone pickaxe. But now we can start bridging over to the Rillaboom Island and start opening the lucky blocks. And I see a bunch already. That should be enough. And we have made it to the first island. Island. So there should be four common lucky blocks, like right here, three uncommon, and two rare blocks, which are free legendary Pokemon. But not only do the bosses get harder each island, but the lucky blocks get better, and we get a free mystery lucky block for beating a boss. But let's see what we can get from our real lucky blocks first. A Galarian Meowth is definitely not gonna help. We have a Togekiss, though. That is a very good Pokemon. Yeah, I'm really sorry, Meowth, but I don't see how much damage you're gonna do. But let's see what we get. A Houndoom. That 
that could be very good against a Rillaboom. But for our final common lucky block, we have a Rookadi, which is definitely not going to help us in the battle. Still have uncommon blocks and it upgraded. Let's go. And we'll come back to that one in a second. But yes, the lucky blocks have a small chance to upgrade whenever you break them. So you can either get a Pokemon or a better lucky block. Let's see. Oh, we get another upgrade. So we have a chance to get four legendary Pokemon on this round. What about this uncommon? It is a shiny Ferrothorn. That is actually so good. I will take a Ferrothorn any day of the week, but let's get into these rare lucky blocks and see what we can get. Meloetta, not a very good start. That's okay. We move on. Come on, save us here with number two. Hey. Hoopa, not much better, I'll be honest, but it's a legendary, all right? It's better than Rookadi. Well, let's see what is in our third rare lucky block. I think there's one, yeah, there's one more after this, all right? We get a Ray Quaza. no way, dude. Okay, that will definitely help out in the battle. And we still have one final rare block. Can I just jump up and hit it? Let's see. Oh, we did get it. We aren't too short, but it is a Zama Zenta. But now, guys, this is very important. We need to choose the best team. Team possible. I mean, we gotta swap off Rookadi, and I think Galarian Meowth can take a seat for Hoopa. And guys, it is time to take on Gigantamax Rillaboom. It's level 105. Let's see how this goes. We do have a level 100 Houndoom. How much does Ember do? Okay, actually 25%. That is not bad for an Ember. <laughs> But all right, Houndoom goes down. Let's see if we can bring in Togekiss. I'm gonna go for Sky Attack, all right? Can we just live two turns, please? This would be so big. Sky Attack hits, and it just barely misses out on the KO. We are so close to taking down G-Max Rillaboom and getting our first mystery lucky block, and Togekiss comes through, which means we've been awarded a mystery lucky block. The moment of truth. Let's see what lucky block we get from the mystery. It's gonna be an ancient lucky block which of course is a custom ancient textured legendary let's see what it's gonna be it is an ancient regilecki just look how cool that looks oh my god so we got an ancient regilecki now time for the next island which i think should be gigantamax gengar look how menacing he looks over there all right well i hope 30 cobblestone is enough Ooh, we just used 10 and we're like right in front of it now i think i can just go down like this and we'll be good three two one. Oh, we pretty much did it i think we can make it Come on. Uh, yes, let's go. We made it to G Max Gengar. And once again, we have four common, three uncommon, and two rare lucky blocks. But as you can see on Urshifu's Island, there are epic lucky blocks. Oh my God, there's another one up there. Good thing I looked. We're going to have some very strong lucky blocks on the next island. Let's see what we have for this one, though. We got an upgrade. Okay, and it's a shiny Axu. Interesting. I don't think we can do much with an Axu. Maybe if it was a Haxorus. Star Raptor, though. That could be really nice. Gengar's a ghost type. So Star Raptor will be immune to Shadow Ball. That is something to keep in mind. But let's see what we get from our next one. It is a Seedra. Can't do much with a Seedra, unfortunately. But for our final common, we have a Golurk. Now that could work as long as Golurk just doesn't get one shot. But I think Golurk could maybe put in some work. Let's see what we got for these uncommon blocks, though. We have a Shiny Parasect. Definitely going to be weak to Gengar's poison moves. But hey, it could be a decent team member. Next up, though, we have ourselves a upgrade. Okay. Dude. These uncommon blocks love me today. Let's open the final one first. And it's a shiny Krabby. But now we have our rare lucky blocks. There's one up here too that we need to get up to. Let's see what we get for our very first rare lucky block. And it is a Reshiram. That is something I could make work on the squad. I will tell you. We have made it to this rare lucky block. And it is a Spectrire. A ghost type legendary could do a lot to Gengar. But Gengar can do a lot to Spectrire. So we'll have to see about that. Oh, we hit it. And it is a Regigigas. Not the best legendary, but it could work against Gengar. But it is time for us to face our fears and take on the G-Max Gengar at level 105 again. All of these Pokemon are over level 100 today, which is crazy. And we hit Electroweb, but he disabled Electroweb? Now I can't even hit him. I have Rapid Spin and Extreme Speed. I need to just wait for Regilecki to die. Well, goodbye, <laughs> Regilecki. You did not last very long. Here we go. Let's bring out the Gorg. I actually decided not to bring Rayquaza to this battle. So I hope this doesn't bite me. Shadow Punch does a lot, but stopping Tantrum takes down G-Max Gengar, baby. And of course, let's celebrate with a mystery Lucky Block. Let's 
let's see. What? Lucky block. We get it in a crystal. These are by far my favorite custom legendary Pokemon. Let's see which one we get. That is not very good, unfortunately, but hey, I will take a free crystal legendary. But there is no more time to celebrate because it only gets harder from here because both G-Max Urshifu and G-Max Melmetal will be level 120. So we need some really good Pokemon this round. Let's farm some materials and make our way over. All right, and there is 30 Cobblestone. And I think we're gonna make our way to G-Max Melmetal first. And I think we can just go straight back from here. Like this is a straight shot, yeah. I'm coming for you, Melmetal. I am coming and we have made it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that there so I can jump up. Beautiful. And here we have our first legendary boss Pokemon on the video. So we really need to lock in. And this is the perfect time to do it because the lucky blocks have gotten stronger. We now have four uncommon, three rare, and two epic lucky blocks, which are shiny legendaries. Let's waste no more time. What are we gonna get? A shiny Rhyperior. That could be so good against Melmetal. Melmetal's also super effective against us. We gotta keep that in mind. But next up, we have a shiny Gorobis, one of my least favorite Pokemon. That's okay though, right? We're gonna get something better. We're gonna get a shiny Bufalon. Okay, that is more like it. Not really gonna help much against a Steel type, but still not a bad Pokemon. And there should be one final uncommon block. Oh, there it is. All right. We have a shiny Loli. I don't think we're gonna bring that. For the rare blocks now, we have ourselves an upgrade for the first one. That's a shiny legendary. We're gonna save that. Next up though, we have a Manaphy. Ooh, that could be very nice against Melmetal and even more so against Charizard when we get there. But I believe there is one final rare lucky block. Let's see what we're gonna get. A Necrozma. Ooh, that is a legendary I don't use all that often, but it is very strong. We could definitely rock that on the team. We got some epic blocks to open now, baby. What are we gonna get? A shiny flippin' Zacian from the first one. Oh my, getting the Master Ball. That is some unreal luck. Next up is a shiny Calyrex. And good thing I still have eight cobblestone. I think we can make our way up here. It'd be very unfortunate if I broke this block and the Pokemon knocked me off of this platform. Let's see what we're gonna get. It is a shiny Cobalion. That is a great Pokemon to use against Melmetal. And it is time to take on G-Max Melmetal. He's blue because he's level 120. Look at that level. That is extremely high level. And this isn't even the highest level Pokemon we're gonna fight today. But Discharge barely takes out Gorobus. I should have looked at this Gorobus' moveset. I'm not gonna lie. It's not very good. That is fine. We can bring in Houndoom now. I'm gonna go for a Ember, please. Oh, beautiful. We hit first. Let's go. This gives us a huge chance to go for a few Embers with our Houndoom. I never thought Houndoom would be putting in work, but look at him. He's going crazy today. Unfortunately, Houndoom does go down. However, we have Barrel Thorn in the back. Oh my gosh, we have Self Destruct. I didn't even notice. But that's not even what I want to do with this po- Oh no, he's going for Flash Cannon. I wanted my Iron Barbs to do damage. Flash Cannon again. Yeah, that's really not helping. I'm gonna go for a Self Destruct. Let's just blow up in his face and see what happens. Self Destruct. It did nothing. No. <laughs> it did no damage. Okay, Cobalion, I need you to come through. You have Sacred Sword. This is a beautiful situation. It does a lot, but not enough. Discharge doesn't paralyze us. And I believe with this next Sacred Sword, we take down G Max Melmetal. And we are, of course, awarded with a mystery lucky block. And let's see what we can get ourselves into. Another crystal lucky block. And it is a Suicune. I mean, can't complain about that. Suicune is great. Ooh, especially against G Max Urshifu. I don't think he can touch Suicune. With that in mind, let's gather some more cobblestone and make our way to the final island for the G Max Charizard final boss, dude. I cannot wait. All right, so we got 25 cobblestone now. And honestly, I think our best bet is just bridging from this island over here. I mean, it's super short. So hopefully this method works. I mean, surely it does. Three, two, one. We are out of cobblestone and perfect. It was the perfect amount. But we're here at the last island before final boss island. And if you guys remember, we saw some epic lucky blocks all the way up here. So we're gonna have to find a way up the tree at some point. But for now, we get an Orangaroo. Okay, where are the rest of our uncommon blocks? That is the real question. Got one right here. Come on, show me the money. A shiny carbon. Not gonna help us much against Urshifu, which by the way is one of the biggest threats to take down today. I am very scared. And here is our final uncommon lucky block. Let's see what we can get. Come on, show me an upgrade. It is a shiny Dunsparce. All right, not too good. Still have our rare lucky blocks though. We get a Regice. We get ourselves a, hey, 
an Urshifu. Perfect. I don't know if we're gonna bring that, but I mean, it's kind of funny. Don't get me wrong. I will definitely take an Urshifu any day of the week. Let's just keep moving up. There's another rare block we need to find. It looks like it is right there. Hold on. Let me smash this real quick. Let me get up there. Boom. Yeah, there we go. All right. We made it to the final rare lucky block. I'm actually gonna open it from over here. Let's see. We get another Zama Zenta, which honestly isn't too bad. I'd much rather another Zacian, but that's another story. Let's just keep climbing our way up here. We got to make our way up one way or another. Hopefully this is the fastest way. Oh, we have this epic block here. Okay, we can get that on the way down. I don't want to jump off here just yet. Bada bing, bada boom, we made it. Okay, well, let's see what is in these epic lucky blocks. A shiny Tapu Lele. That will be amazing against Urshifu. I cannot stress that enough. And can we make it to this one? Yes, so we stick the landing. It's going to be a shiny Shaman, which actually could help out against Urshifu. It is a water type. But with that, we have opened all of the lucky blocks on this island. But it is time to take on G Max Urshifu at level 1. 20. Guys, I am terrified. I am not going to lie. All right, let's go to Togekiss here. Maybe we go for Fairy Wind. Can you not flinch me? Yes. Oh my God. Wait, Fairy Wind did so much. Wicked Blow though. Definitely going to take Togekiss out. I'm going to go out to Ferrothorn here and I'm just going to click Self-Destruct. Please don't die to Wicked Blow. Yes. Iron Barbs hurts, but the Self-Destruct just barely misses the KO. No. All right, Cobalion. It is all up to you. Sacred Sword. Can you live the Wicked Blow? Boost our attack with Justify. Boom. G-Max Urshifu goes down down and we of course win our mystery lucky block for the trouble let's see what it's going to be a galaxy lucky block to get a galaxy entei not the best pokemon but definitely a cool looking pokemon for sure but guys it has all led up to this moment we only have one island left and that is the final boss island i am so nervous all right let's get some cobblestone my pickaxe is broken we have 19 cobblestone hopefully that's enough i feel like it should be but let's make our way to the final boss island. Send it! We made it to the final boss island with the G Max Charizard. And as you might be able to see, we actually have mystery lucky blocks to open on this island. Let's crack into the rare lucky blocks. First, we get an epic one right away, a shiny Reggie Drago. I will take that any day of the week. We get a Kyogre. That is gonna help so much against Charizard. Let's keep it up though. Come on, we get ourselves a Mewtwo. We get a Zekrom too. Getting into the epic lucky blocks now. We have a another shiny Cobalion. We have a shiny Virizion now. We just need shiny Terrakion. Here is our final epic block. I'm not even going to catch that. I'm just going to let Meltan stay in this little boat. But yeah, everyone just waved to Meltan. We're not even going to catch that. All right, I had to go get some more cobblestone because we actually don't have a way to get up into these mystery lucky blocks, but this should be perfect. I think we just jump and boom, we got a crimson lucky block. And let's see what we get. A crimson Entei. A lot of dupe legendaries. But of course, we have our final mystery block before we take on G Max Charizard, and it is an ancient lucky block. We get an ancient Genesect, probably one of the worst Pokemon to take on Charizard with. And here we are with the final battle against G Max Charizard. And I know it's level 120 when I said it would be 130. So to make up for that, all my Pokemon are level 90 except for Togekiss. So that way we're still 30 levels under leveled, and that's a lot of levels. I'm gonna go for a Rock Blast this first turn. Air Slash does so much, but so does Rock Blast. We almost took it down in one hit. Oh my god, but Air Slash takes down our Rhyperior. Come on, Manaphy. I know you can do this. Bubble. Bubble. I know you want to. Just barely doesn't kill. We have 11 HP to go. And Manaphy goes down to our final two Pokemon. Let's bring out a Kyogre and go for a nice and powerful Ancient Power, which takes down the G Max Charizard with a critical hit, too. Not sure if we needed that, but G Max Charizard goes down and we have won the challenge. And I guess my Kyogre. Ogre's evolving too. It evolved into a gloom. Don't forget to subscribe.